So, i-explain po natin ngayon yung ating sample number 1 sa trust analysis using method of trends. Okay, so, ito po yung ating sample problems. Meron tayong joints na A, B, C, D, E, and F. Tapos, yung kada members po natin is may 1 meter. Tapos, may load dito na 50 kilonewton. And dito is 80 kilonewton. So, meron po tayong tatlong steps sa pag-solve ng method of joints. Um, first step po natin is yung isasolve mo na po muna natin yung reactions. So, dito po is is a sum summation of uh, Fy is equals to 0. Ito po yung gagamitin natin. Then, yung 3, Ay, Ay po ito. Then, 3 Ay, tapos yung 50, then is equals to 80 kilonewtons, tapos yung 0 0.75 po natin. Tapos, solve po natin, and makukuha natin is 3.33 kilonewton. Next is yung summation naman po natin ng f of x. Ito po yung gamit na natin. Ax is equals to 0 po, which is yung dito. Yan. Then, second, tapos yung second po natin na gagawin is yung, ito pong, uh, next natin is yung tinatawag natin na summation of movements. Ito po yun. Tapos, positive na counterclockwise is equals to 0. Ito po yun. Tapos, yung 3, yung ating moment R distance. Ito po yun, 1, 2, 3. Then, is equals to 50 kilonewton. Tapos, times 2, plus, plus 80, times 0 0.75. Then, kapag sinolve po natin, ang makukuha natin is 53.33 33 kilonewton. Then, next step po, after natin ma-solve yung reactions, ang um, susunod po natin is yung FBD of each joint. Ngayon po, tapos meron, meron po kami matutunan na parang step para hindi kayo malilito. Ayan. Parang paghihiwahiwalayin mo po yung kada joint. Ito po yan. Para alam natin kung ano yung hahanapin natin ng mga, na hahanapan po natin ng mga value. Okay. First is yung joint A po natin. Ngayon, meron pong, ano, meron sinasabi na kapag mag ano ka ng joint, dapat kailangan, ay, mas maganda na ang pipiliin mo po na unang isasolve is yung may dalawang unknown forces lang. Uh, two or less than two unknown forces, which is yung joint A natin ng dalawa. Kasi ito, more than two, one, two, three, four. Ito, three, one, two, three, two, three, ayan. Ito po yung pinaka best na isasolve muna. Then, ayan. Ang gagamitin nating mga ano is uh, summation of f of x is equals to 0 or fb is equals to 0 and summation of fy is equals to, C, to 0. Okay, ito po yun. Uh, ito yung fbd of joint A natin. Ito yung unknown. So, ayan. Tapos, first po, uh, susolve natin, summation of Fv is equals to 0, 3 over 5, uh, ito po yun, 3 over 5, Fab is equals to 3.33 kilonewton. Then, isusolve po natin, ang makukuha natin is 5.56 kilonewton. Yan yung Fab natin, dito. Then, uh, summation of Fh, or uh, uh, yung FV po natin or FX and FH or FY uh, vertical, horizontal or X and Y then summation of FH is equals to 0 para makuha po natin yung value ng FAE FAE plus 4 over 5 ito po yun, 4 over 5 tapos FAB is equals to 80 
FAE plus 4 over 5, 5.56 is equals to 80. Then, so solve lang po natin. FAE is equals to 75.56 kN tension. Tension po siya kasi positive. Then, magiging negative po siya if compression. Okay. Then, meron na po tayong value ng sa joint A, yung sa FAB and FAE. Ang in the next po natin yung solve is yung ating joint E. Then, ito po. Uh, summation of F of H or summation of F of Y. And, is equals to zero. Um, FBC. Ito po yun. FBC is equals to 4 over 5. FAB. And, FBC is equals to 4 over 5. Yung, then, yung ano po natin. Yung value natin ng FAB. Ang nakuha natin kanina is 5.56. I-replace lang po natin. Then, isa-solve po natin is equals to 4.45 kN tension. Positive po siya. Kaya, tension. Then, at na po yung value ng ating FBC. 4.45. Then, in, ang in the next naman po natin is yung summation of FV or yung sa vertical po natin. Um, kukunin natin is ito, vertical, which is FBE. FBE is equals to 3 over 5. 3 over 5. Then, yung nakuha nga po natin kanina na, ano, na value ng FAB, which is 5.56. Replace ang pod. Solve. Then, ang nakuha natin is 3.34 kN or nag, uh, ang makukuha po natin dito is negative 3.34 kN or 3.34 kN compression. Then, nakuha na po natin yung value ng ating FBC and FBE. Okay. So, next na po natin is joint E. Ito po yung sa joint E natin. Okay. First step po ulit natin is summation of FB is equals to 0 or, or yung verticals natin po is equals to 0. Ito. 3 over 5 FCE ito ko kunin po natin yung value ng FCE is equals to FAE. Ito po. Since meron na po tayong value ng FAE i-replace na lang natin. 3 over 5 uh, FCE is equals to 3.34 then i then ililipat po natin then solve ang makukuha po natin is 5.57 kN tension then next po natin is summation of uh, horizontals or FY is equals to 0 Ayan. um FFE which is uh FFE, ito po, yung ating hori. Ito po. FFE plus 4 over 5, 4 over 5, FCE is equals to FAE. Then, i-replace lang po natin yung may mga value na dito. Uh, yung FCE natin is 5.57. Yung FAE is 75.56. Uh, tapos, uh, isosolve po natin. Then, ang makukuha po natin is 71.11 kN tension. Next naman po is joint F. Uh, okay. Ang gagawin po natin is yung uh, summation, of, summation of FB is equals to 0. FCF is equals to 50 kN tension. Ito po yun. Ayan. Uh, ito po, given na to, kasi dito sa joint F natin, meron na siyang load na 50 kN. So, autom automatic na pag nandito siya, yung FCF natin is 50 kN din. So, ito na po yun. Next natin is summation of F, or F of horizontals is equals to 0. Then, ang gagawin po natin is, uh, kukunin natin is FDF. FDF. Ito po. Ayan. FDF is equals to FFE. So, since meron na po tayong 
meron na tayong value ng FFE. FDF is equals to FFE. Same lang po siya na magiging answer is 71.11 kN. Since ano lang sila, parallel, same load lang po sila. So, ang magiging ano natin is 71.11 kN. Okay, and next po, ito yung FBD ng joint F. Okay, next natin na joint is C. Summation of F of H is equals to 0. Then, ayan po. Gamitin natin is 4 over 5. 4 over 5. FCD. Ah, wait. Sige. Ito po siya. Ano sa next page? Ito siya. Ikan po. At 4 over 5 FCD plus 4 over 5 FCE plus FBC is equals to 80. Lalagyan lang po natin ng ano yung may mga value na 4 over 5 FCD. At po yung FCE natin is 5.57. Replace lang po natin. Then yung ating FBC is 4.45 is equals to 80. Then kocompute po natin. Ang makukuha natin is 88.87 kN compression or magi or ang ano po nito is negative 88.87 compression po ito then next is uh, summation of f of b is equals to 0 3 over 5 fcd is equals to 3 over 5 fce plus fcf okay ulit po is the papalitan lang po natin yung mga may value na 3 over 5 Value ng FCD is 88.87 is equals to 3 over 5. Value ng FCE, 5.57 plus value ng FCF is equals to 50. Then, kakompute po natin. So, check po natin if parehas. 53. At itong side po na to, 53.3. Then, ito din pong side na to, 53.3. Okay, ito po yung ating Okay, ito po yung ating uh, FBD na joint C Then, last po natin na joint is joint D uh, Summation of F of H is equals to 0 Then, yan po, 4 over 4 4 of 5, 4 over 5, FCD is equals to FDF. 4 over 5, ang um, value po ng ating FCD, 88.87. Okay, check lang po natin, is equals to 71.11. Value at then E, uh, so solve po natin to 71.1 is equals to 71.1. So, same po sila, same sila ng load. Okay, next is summation of FB is equals to 0. Ito po yung ating uh, moment R of distance is equals to 3 over 5 FCD. Tapos, replace po natin itong mga to. Since itong mga to is na-compute na natin kanina, re-replace lang natin. Value ng ating R, ng ating moment R distance is 53.33. Is equals to 3 over 5, value ng FCD, 88.87. Then, kakumpit mo po para has both sides. Then, ayan. Same lang po sila. Then, ito po yung ating summary. Ito po. Ayan. Nakikita niyo po na parang, ayan. Ito po yung value na nakakumpit natin kanina. Then, ito siya. Summary lang po ito para mas... Hindi po tayo malito. Okay. Sample number 2 po natin. Ganun lang din po ang gagawin natin. Ito po ang ating example. Ito po. Yan. Since para-parehas lang po sila, um, mas, mas iba siya na i-compute natin kasi dun sa iba. Pero yung steps natin is ganun pa din. Okay. Uh, first step is so ng reactions. Ayan po. Summation of f of x equals to 0. 
2 po yun, a of x. Then, 0 na po agad yan. Ayan, a of x is equals to 0. Then, ang ating summation na counterclockwise ng uh, summation of moments. Ayan, is equals to 0. Then, ito po. Alangin natin na uh, moment or distance is equals to 30. Ito po yan, 30. Ah, at yan, 3 po ito ha. 3. Ayan. 30, since dito siya, counterclockwise, 30, kukunin natin to, 3. Ayan. Negative po siya kasi, counterclockwise. Negative 30, tapos ito, kunin 3. Tapos 50 naman po, negative 50, tapos ang moment or, ang moment or distance niya dito is 3, 6. Fif negative 50 times 6. Then, minus or negative 30, moment R is, hanggang dito is 9. Then, ang um, kukunin pa natin ito. HY, magiging 12 kasi 3, 6, 9, 12. Dito. Ayan. Didivide po natin siya sa HY. Then, ang makukuha po natin, pag sinaw natin ito sa taas, is 660 over 12 or divide by 12 HY. Ang makukuha po natin is uh, 50, ang makukuha po natin is 55 kilonewton. Ayan. Then, summation of Fy is equals to 0. Ayan. Ay, since parehas lang po siya ng load, magiging 55 kN din po yan. Okay. Next step po natin is FBD of joints. Ayan. Parang yung ginawa lang din po natin kanina para hindi tayo malito sa kung ano yung mga hanapan natin ng value. Kunin mo po yung parang pinaka... Kunin mo yung parang sample problem nyo. Tapos, ito. Ayan. Hati-hatiin mo okay. po siya. So, kadali. So, hati-hatiin mo po siya. Ayan. Okay. Ito po. Uh, Iaano naman po natin ngayon is yung ating joints. FBT of each joint. Okay? Tulad po nung kanina, ang uunahin natin is joint A kasi siya yung may less than 2 unknown na yung ating may unknown. Okay. Uh, summation of Fy is equals to 0. Ang um, gagamitin natin ito, Fab. Ang hahanapin pala natin is Fab. Fab, sin 30, 30, de 30 degrees plus 55 is equals to 0. Then, susolve lang natin using the calculator. Pag sinolve na natin siya, ang makukuha natin is FAB is equals to negative 110 kN or 110 kN compression. Next naman natin is itong FAC. Okay, summation of F of X is equals to 0. FAC plus FAB cosine 30 is equals to 0. Then, FAC, since may value na tayo ng FAB, replace na lang natin. FAC plus negative 110 cosine 30 is equals to 0. Then, it, ilipat lang natin. Tapos, ang gagamitin na, na tapos pag sinunod na natin siya using calculator, ang makukuha natin value is 95.263 kN tension. Okay. So, ito yung ating FBD of joint A. Ayan. Okay na to. Itong dalawa, may value na tayo. Then, ang in-next naman natin, then, ang in-next naman natin is joint C. Okay. Joint C. F of X is equals to, summation of F of X is equals to 0. FCE, ito siya. FCE, since meron na tayong value ng FAC natin, tapos magkatapat lang sila, magiging same lang tayo ng value na makukuha. Ay, hindi mag magkalain lang sila, hindi magkatapat. Magkalain sila, 
mag magiging same lang din tayo ng value na makukuha, which is FCE is equals to 95.263 kN tension. Next naman is a summation natin of F of Y is equals to 0. Since yung given natin, kanin, yung given natin na sample problem is meron na tayong dito 30 kN. Ayan, dito. At ang given na to, ang magiging sagot natin is 30 kN tayo sa FBC tension. Ayan, okay na yung ating joint C. Then, next naman natin na joint is joint B. Okay? Um, dito sa joint B is gagamit tayo ng dalawang equation. First natin na equation, equation is summation of f of x is equals to 0. Yung ating FBD. Kunin natin FBD. Cosine 30. Then plus FBE. Cosine 30. Therefore, okay, so, Then, itong ating joint B. Sa so, joint B natin, gumamit tayo ng dalawang equation. Gumamit tayo ng dalawang equation since dalawa, dalawa din hinahanap natin. Okay? Sa so, so first natin is summation of f of x is equals to 0. FBD, ito, FBD cosine 30. FBE cosine 30 minus FAB sin 60 is equals to 0. Then, solve natin. FBD square root of 3 over 2 plus FBE square root of 3 over 2 minus negative 10, 110 times square root of 3 over 2 is equals to 0. Then, elimination method. Then, ang makukuha natin is FBD plus FBE is equals to 110. Negative 110. Ito yung equation 1 natin. Okay, next is summation of FY is equals to 0. Okay, FBD. FBD sin 30. FBE sin 30 minus FBC minus FAB cosine 60. Then, mag-ano lang tayo, mag-replace lang tayo ng mga may value. FBD times 1 half minus FBE times 1 half since ito 30. Then, negative, uh, minus 30 yung ating value ng FBC minus negative 110 value ng ating FAB then cosine 60 degrees 1 half is equals to 0. Then, elimination elimination method or yung sa algebraic natin. Sa algebra. Then, maging, ang makukuha natin para sa equation to is FBD minus FBE is equals to negative 50. So, ang ating FBD is equals to negative 80 kilonewton or 80 kilonewton compression. Yung ating FBE naman is negative 30 kilonewton or 30 kilonewton compression. Yeah. Okay. Next, uh, next natin is yung mga joint H, G, and F. H, G, and F. So, since yung ano natin, yung sample problem natin kanina, may kita nyo, uh, same lang siya per side. Same yung loads nila, tapos same yung sa members nila. Kaya ang mayayari yung computation natin ng joint H, which is yung kaparehas na side ng A, yung joint G, kaparehas na side ng C, and yung joint F, kaparehas naman na side ng joint B. So, yung magiging computation natin, halos same lang. Halos same lang. Ang maiiba lang is yung mga joints nga. Ito. Ayan. So, mak kung makikita nyo, parehas lang siya. Ayan. Same, same lang siya. Okay, yun lang. So, 
Pag nakumpit na natin yan lahat, uh, same process lang. Uh, yun nga, may iba lang yung sa ating mga joints. So, ang magiging summary natin. Ah, no. no. Meron pa tayong isa na lang. It's either D or E. Since same to, ito yung mga kaparasin ng side. A, H. Yung ating B at F. Tapos yung ating C and G. Tapos ang magiging magkaparehas naman na side is D or E. Ngayon, yung ating isasob lang, it's either D or E. Since magkatapat naman sila, magiging same lang din yung kalalabasan nila. Kaya either of the two, we can solve. So, ang ating pinili na isolve is yung joint D. Ito yung joint D natin. So, kunin natin. Ito yung ating FBD. Tapos, ito. Since meron na tayong uh, meron na tayong value ng FDF, FDF, tsaka FBD, ito yon negative 80, negative 80, ang isa na lang yung hahanapin natin, FDE. So, magiging summation of FY is equals to 0. Okay, FBD cosine 60 plus FDF cosine 60 plus FDE is equals to 0. Then, then palitan natin yung mga may value na negative 80 plus 1 half, 60, plus negative 80 FDF cosine 60, 1 half, plus FDE is equals to 0. Transfer natin yung FDE since siya lang yung walang value. Then kapag kinopute natin using the calculator, ang makukuha natin is 80 kN tension. Ayan. So, ito, dito natin, nilagay na natin sa summary natin yung sa ating figure na may, meron na siya mga value per joint. Ayan. Then, dito, for summary lang, uh, ito yung mga ating members, ito yung members siya, pag ganyan. Then, yung mga force. Ito, yung mga force natin. Then, action, compression, or tension. Either compression or tension. So, ayan. So, dun na po ang nagtatapos ng ating explanation for yung sample problem natin na dalawa for cross analysis using method of joints.